the first three foundations courses attempt to um, give students a background in political history, in art history, in philosophy, in ethics, in history itself, um, in intellectual history, uh, from the beginning of time until today. This is obviously a, an impossible task, but it's something that we do try to do within one year. We divide the quarters into essentially the ancient world, which is the first quarter. Uh, the second quarter usually takes over from the medieval to the Renaissance, maybe the 18th century. Uh, and then the third quarter goes from the 18th century until the modern period. Um, we try to reacquaint students with uh, the works of the past that really have been recognized as achievements of humanity in, in all of its disciplines, whether it be in literature, art, uh, religion, engineering, or science. So it's, it's a matter of getting reacquainted with analyzing uh, the humanities in terms of writing, but also a matter of debating what is important about a particular work of art uh, or a particular work of literature with their fellow students. I think that's one of the great strengths of the program is that you are able to you know, have this wonderful list of literature, of books that uh, perhaps you should have read more carefully in your undergraduate years, um, and to think critically about them and to discuss the materials with your classmates and your professors. It helps those students who've been out of school for a long time kind of gradually ease back into an academic environment where you are having to read very carefully and produce academic papers where you are writing in a very different nature than you are in your professional life. In the second year, the students take a course which is the fourth part of the foundation sequence, but it is rather different. It is a seminar and it has a theme. For many years it was, the theme was the plague. Um, and now the theme is war. What we're trying to do is offer a course that is interdisciplinary in its nature, that allows students to meet many different people from Stanford who can come in and uh, lecture from their own perspectives on a single idea. It's important for smart people to have the tools to investigate their own ideas. And one of the things that we try to do in the interdisciplinary seminar is to give them those tools. We get them into the library. We have them researching a particular subject, a subject of their own interest. They all give presentations at some point during that quarter. And we invite people in who can, who can speak to their own areas of academic expertise and then allow the students to begin to draw larger conclusions larger interdisciplinary conclusions, if possible, um, about the nature of war. We had a lot of reading, a lot of lectures, a lot of writing, and we were um, looking at, at every facet of conflict and human conflict and how human conflict arises and how human conflict could potentially be solved. And we had over 10 weeks lectures from 10 of the faculty members that are just superstars at Stanford, some of the very, very best faculty members, and that really helped us understand all of the competing influences and the challenges, really the deep challenges um, that the world faces in helping create peace. It's not just a matter of uh, multidisciplinarity. It's not it's just a matter of, well, how do I bring the tools and sources of history to bear and the tools and forces of philosophy, but how do I, how do I integrate those together into something that actually makes sense as, as an integrated whole? Interdisciplinarity isn't just a lot of different stuff. It's a lot of different ways of thinking about the world. Um, and that's, that's not the easiest thing to do, and it's something that Dr. Paulson's course is designed to sort of help you figure out how to go about doing that. And I think, it, I think it's the kind of thing that needs a course. I mean, it's, a, it's, it's, it's not the same kind of work as just, you know, writing a, a history paper from a history perspective. It's a whole different kind of animal, and, and uh, the course really helps you develop the skills and, and abilities and, and knowledge that enables you to do that.